Welcome to episode four of PV TV, which is the solar TV show. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a TV show. We answer all your solar questions. And today's question comes again from Claire, who's one of the lovely ladies who works here upstairs, who said to me today, she said, Sam, this is her second question on the show. Yeah. Four episodes in, Claire, you're a gun. Um, so today's question comes from Claire, who asked me, how much power can you sell back to the grid uh, or to the power lines from your solar system? Like, if you have a solar system on your house and you're selling power back to the grid, what's the limit on that? Well, the short answer is that there is no limit on how much you can sell back to the grid. Great. So they don't put a limit on you and say... Well, Thank you for watching. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they don't say, well, you know, we'll cap you at 10 kilowatt hours a day. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah. But what they do limit is at what rate you're going to push power back into the power lines is. Sure. So to expand on that a little bit yeah. is that um, different distributors own the power lines across the country mm -hmm. and they've got their infrastructure set up mm -hmm. and it's only set up to handle a certain amount of power running through it at a certain time. Yeah. So they, so that's why they, they don't mind how much power you put in total into the system. Like over the whole day. Over the whole day. Yeah. But at any given time, if they, they put a limit on that. Yeah. It's generally about five kilowatts. Yeah. Um, that's, and that's for, to protect their infrastructure. To protect the infrastructure. Because yeah. otherwise everyone would put huge systems on their houses, yeah. sell all the, as much power as they could, transformers would explode, yeah. um, and it wouldn't be good. No, it wouldn't be okay. good at all. So the, the guys who own the power lines and that, they're different to the people selling you the power. They're mm -hmm. the retailers. Mm -hmm. um, they are the ones who charge you the money. Mm -hmm. the, the people we're talking about actually build the lines and take care of it and maintain all our great systems that we have and here. they're the ones who who say how much you can sell at one moment they're the ones who say it yeah now in victoria i know the most the most common amount um we have here where we are is about five kilowatts to 10 kilowatt yes at any one moment per solar system um it's pretty much the same across australia we'll range from about five to ten kilowatts um in a moment is that, yeah. is that that's correct? yeah it's pretty it's correct yeah now, if we do some simple maths and say that on average you'll sell it for about 10 cents back to the power lines, um, we're talking about the average is about five kilowatts you can sell an hour, yep. times that by average sunlight, conservatively, let's say four hours yep. per state in Australia. So you get four hours average sunlight a day. The average system size is five kilowatts. Yep. So the average system size is 20 kilowatts. If you were to sell all your power each day yeah. for the current rate of 10 cents at five kilowatts an hour, which you're allowed to do. Which you're allowed to do, yeah. How much money would you make? Two dollars. Two bucks? Is that right? Is that right? An hour or um, a day? A day, yeah. It's like 600 bucks a year. Yeah. It's, not, it's not amazing. Yeah, and that's saying that we're exporting all a of it. full five kilowatt every, well, on the average four hours. So yeah. 20 kilowatts, 10 cents, yeah. Yeah. So... That's why, it, I mean, this doesn't mean that you can't put a bigger system mm -hmm. on than 10 kilowatts. It's, there's just, there's, it just means all you can do is export or send five kilowatts back into the lines. So there's little computers and monitors that can, what's called export limit yeah. a system. So you can have a nice big 10, 15 kilowatt system on there. Takes care of your pool pumps and all your usage during the day and the little controller mm. just monitors the whole system and only ever sends five kilowatts out to the grid so you're looking at that sort of situation we do get people who are just sending five kilowatts consistently and making um a couple of bucks off off their export yeah while it's also taking care of their usage yeah which is great and, and something i've always said to people when sizing up a solar system um is to put a few extra panels yeah. or an extra kilowatt or um uh, if you've seen our other videos oversize your inverter so put a couple more panels on the inverter than it's rated for, which you're allowed to do. And in doing that, it's going to mean that you're more likely to be selling power more often, yeah. still within your limit. And that extra power you sell, what well, like we said, it's two bucks a day if you sell it at, at the general average limit of your average size system. You yep. make about two bucks a day. So if you halve that and say you're only going to sell half, which is more realistic, you make about a dollar a day. Yeah. And now I'm a big campaigner for this because the dollar a day you make, while it's not huge. It's enough to cover your connection fee, exactly right. which is which is you'll tell us a bit more about the connection fee. The connection fees is basically just a daily charge everyone has to pay. Yeah. Just to have the meter connected and on and functioning on their home. Yeah. Um, doesn't that doesn't mean doesn't include any power. Yeah. It's just to have the meter sitting there and turned on. Yeah. 
And so there's nothing you can do about that fee um, aside from selling a dollar's worth of electricity back to the power lines each day yep. and using that potentially to offset your meter charge. So just the dollar you have to pay each day just to have the meter stuck to your house. Yes. And this is good because they get a lot of people ask the question, um, whether it's on pictures that we put up on, on our pages on Facebook and stuff, uh, or videos and people say, yeah, well, it's all well and good to get a solar system and it's all well and good to get a battery, but I'm still gonna be paying my connection charge or my daily connection fee. Yeah. So how does that work? And that's the answer. You can actually sell so your like excess power. power each day and that's generally enough to cover that dollar. So your battery plus your solar plus the bit extra you sell, which pays your connection fee, is a, a potential scenario to get you to zero dollar electricity bills or yeah. even into credit. A yeah. little bit with your power company, and we, and we do have people like this. We have yeah, sure. We have many, many customers who have battery solar. They export the extra. They pay their connection charge with it, and with the leftover, they start building a credit yeah. with the power company, which yeah. is unbelievable yeah, considering really good. Yeah. what people pay for power these days. Yep. Cool. Exactly. Anything else? Um, not really. I mean, if you've got three phase, there's a the, oh yeah, it's a good, it's a good one. It's kind of funny. They jump from five kilowatts per phase on a single phase mm -hmm. to some distributors will give you 10 kilowatts per phase on per three phase. phase. Yeah. So it goes from five to 30 kilowatts they lay to push back in, Yeah. which is, is awesome. But yeah, just good to keep in mind. It doesn't mean you can't get a bigger system than five. Yeah, um, it just means you can't sell it. Just means you can't sell more than yeah. five kilowatts at a time to, yeah. the, to the power lines. That's a really good point because we have had the people say before, um, oh, I've been told I can only have this size system. Well, it's not always the case. Sometimes the distributor will say you can only have this size system, but generally what they're saying, at least here in Australia, is you can only have this size system to sell back. Exactly right. But you can actually put more or a bigger system to help supply your house as long as you're not selling more yeah. than the limit. And like you were saying earlier, you can limit that with computers and devices that will make sure you're always within the distributor's regulation of what you're selling, mm -hmm. but you've got a huge solar system on your house, yep. you're not paying any bills, and you're selling all the extra. So some people do do that. Yeah. Um, it's a way around it. Now, just to recap, you mentioned three-phase power, and that's for people who have, um, most people have one power line coming to their home off the street. Some people have three power lines coming to their home off the street. Now, yeah. it's not common. Uh, if you have it, you probably know about it. And what you were just saying is, if you have that sort of setup, it means you can sometimes sell even more solar yeah. uh, back to the power lines than most people would be able to, um, and it's more likely to go into credit. Yep. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching episode four. Episode four. Episode four of PVTV, where we answer all your solar questions. If you get any questions about solar and batteries, leave them in the comments below, and we look forward to answering them for you soon. Take care.